G'day guys, how's it going? Cody Orgle from CycleTravelOverload.com Today I wanted to share with you guys some of my favourite bikepacking bags that I've had uh, a good chance to test out and stuff. Unfortunately, as of late since COVID and everything, I haven't been able to do many overnight or bikepacking trips for the last few, like like this whole 2020 pretty much. Um, we're looking pretty likely to get back out there, hopefully, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, maybe in the next month or so. So I'm really excited to um, potentially get out to some more bikepacking adventures and bring these bags that I'll mention in this video along with me because they've been really good bags. I've had a good chance to test them out, as I said. So what we'll do first, we'll start with this saddlebag. Um, I, I started off with the frame and saddlebag from Apertura, the Expedition ones. These are the 100% fully waterproof, indestructible pretty much, bikepacking bags. And I really haven't had the chance to try any other bags because these have held up extremely well. So the saddlebag I believe is around 7 litres, it's quite a big saddlebag. I managed to fit an emergency bivy bag right down in the base here. And then I have a really big sleeping bag, so that takes up a majority of the rest of the space. Ideally, I'd like to get a smaller, like, compact sleeping bag, but I don't want to get anything that's down. I prefer synthetic. And then I also have my mini changer in there as well. So, it's a huge bag. This is the largest option you can get. You can get a 14 litre, I believe. But if you're looking to go on huge expeditions, this bag... It's pretty much enough capacity for one large, you know, Ortlip pannier, like a 20 litre Ortlip pannier. It's not quite as big, but that's the whole thing about bikepacking that I'm getting used to is compacting everything down. So taking the sleeping bag out of its compression sack and just stuffing it into every square millimetre possible and it works really great. You know, I always have the trusty titanium mug on the side there, but let's open this up and I'll quickly show you guys. So normally it's just sleeping like bulky, uh, sort of lighter weight stuff, ideally in the in the saddlebag here. But it's it's been really good quality, like it hasn't torn, like the attachment points and where they've sewn it is extremely strong. I can't fault this bag. The only problem I have, almost losing my transfer, this little thing here, like, it's popped off like from there, but other than that, it's not really that bad. Just gonna get that back on there now. And then next is this Aperture bag. Uh, this bag is amazing. I'm really surprised how well it actually fits with my 56 centimeter Kona Sutra. It fits perfectly pretty much. Like there's no spaces along here. The only space is really down the bottom here. But you could probably like store like a spare tube, wrap it around there or something, whatever you want to do. But um, at the moment I've just got a bladder in there. But it's good for like a few days worth of food stashed in here, a laptop, the bladder, spare tools and stuff on the other side. Really great bag. Again, made from the same quality materials as this other saddle bag. Uh, so I can't fault those two bags right there. My next bag is uh, the ones that I have here on the front forks. These are from Cedar Summit. Great brands. These guys just hooked me up with a sleeping pad that I'm gonna be testing out and it's actually really comfy. I can't wait to share that with you guys. But uh, these Cedar Summit, just like dry bags, are really great if you have um, some cargo cages on the front forks. As you guys saw, just sits around the fork like that. This is an eight liter one, probably five liters if you wanna pack a bit smaller is recommended. But I went for the bigger option, probably nothing bigger than eight liters to be honest, at the front there. Don't pack it completely to full size, but these, I haven't been able to really test them in the rain and stuff, but they are a dry bag and they've been holding up fairly well. Um, and I can store like one side dry bag, I can store a full tent, like this tent you probably can just see here. This, this is a one person tent and that fits in there fairly well. And then the other side, which is what's in here right now is like all my clothes for a, a long distance, you know, multi month adventure. Um, so there's a pillow in here, but I normally have like a, uh, a raincoat and then, you know, spare cycling mix and, um, shorts and a change of off-bike clothes as well. Fits really snug in there as well. Then the other bags up front near the handlebars, we've got um, top tube bag. Uh, I kind of really like this one from Moose Tracks. These guys do really affordable bike packing bags that uh, I recommend if you're just getting started into bike packing and you want to see if it's your style. Um, like you can buy their full kit that I have that I'm going to be doing a review on of their full frame saddle handlebar bag and their, their feed stem bags for around 300 bucks or so 
for a complete bag setup, which is pretty good. But I found this bag is pretty nice quality considering, I think, I don't know how much this would be, but my guess would be like 20 bucks or something. It's a pretty cheap bag. Zip is good quality and stuff, and it fits your phone, your wallet, all that good stuff. And if you can get it on there really tight, it doesn't wobble around that, that, that much as well. Then the other two bags that I like, uh, one of these stem bags from Wizardworks. Um, these guys hooked me up with this stem feed bag of theirs with, with the really rad colorway going on there. Uh, they have many other colorful options and different design options for their bags. You know, they have heaps of storage around the side and stuff. I'm fitting 1.5 liter bottles in here, which is amazing. And probably a little too big the bottle, but I really like how um, wide these bags are. Like I can really fit like my vlogging camera on the end of this Joby tripod and put it straight in there. And on the other side is this Treadlight bag from Australia. These guys are in South Australia. They hooked me up with this bag. I really like this bag actually. Really good build quality, really, really strong. And it's lightweight. It's lighter weight than the Wizardworks one. Probably less padding, I would say. But if you're just holding a bottle, like if you want a 1.5 liter bottle, as you can see, this fits it perfectly. I want to get another one of these bags from these guys because I'm, I'm thinking about running my 1.5 bottles up the front here and having it in this bag, it's kind of, as you guys saw, it sits up a bit too high, but this really does secure it. You can wrap it around there nicely. And it also has some mesh down the side here as well. And that's a really good bag. I can't fault this one, amazing. Then the other bag that I really like is from Restrap. So this is the handlebar bag and they have this really cool like magnetic system that flips up and out like that. So you can just um, take the bag off when you want to go into shops and stuff. I have my wallet and my, my um, phone and all my valuables in here while I go into stores and stuff. And then there's also this uh, dry bag that's 14 litres that you can fill chockers full and um, it fits perfectly be between my drop bars here, which is amazing. And then when you want to chuck this back on, when you go back on the bike, you literally just chuck it on and it clicks on like, just like so easily because it's magnetic. Um, so again, flick up and then pull out. So this one goes up, this one comes out. It takes a little getting, getting used to, but it's really good. And I haven't had any problems with it. It's been extremely strong and it's never come off the bike. It has this little, I'll take this off again, but it has this little clip system here where you can attach the bottom so then the bottom doesn't flick up and um, you can pull that really tight. So then it just stays on there really nicely. I really recommend these bags from Restrap. They're high quality stuff. I believe they hand make them, but they're really like, they're lightweight bags, but built incredibly well. So guys, the last part of this video that I filmed, the audio didn't work out on it. But anyway, the last bag that I was gonna show you guys was this Caradice long flap seat bag. It mounts on the back of the seat, but you need the special rack. So you have to buy that as an additional add-on to fit the bag onto the bike. And you also need to be careful because some bikes might not have enough clearance on the rear to cover from up off the tire um, and you might get it sort of touching the tire if your seat is too low. The problem with um, my setup is that I ride just into a size large bike. So for my height, it's I'm just a little bit too tall for a medium, which means I go for a large size bike. And then that also means that I have to have the seat relatively low compared to having it up higher. And I have to have the seat a little too high for me to ride comfortably enough so then I have just enough clearance for the bag over the tire. So that's one thing to consider. If you do have a high seat post, then you should be fine. And I really like it. It's kind of a bit of a retro sort of style touring. It's almost like retro bike packing before bike packing became this buzzword, I guess. So it is essentially a seat bag, if you like. Uh, and it's just an open space bag, so there's no real need to stuff your gear really tightly like with a traditional seat bag like, like I showed you guys earlier on in this video. You kind of just sit stuff in there. Uh, you could probably do grocery shopping, use it as for like commuting and stuff. You can definitely fit all your fresh veggies from the market in there and all that kind of stuff. And I like how the top of the bag just opens up. Uh, so you can chuck stuff straight in there. It's actually a really cool bag. But again, I believe this bag is around 21 liters. So it's pretty much the same capacity as one large rear uh, touring pannier bag. And I've even gotten my 1.5 liter bottles and sat them in the pockets on either side of the bag as well and that worked wonders. But uh, yeah, I really like this bag and it's also another great bag that I do recommend. But also guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more bikepacking, bicycle touring, gear videos and even some adventures here and there as well. All right, see you later.